Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create database role in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways. One using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other one is using T-SQL script. Just so that you know, when you create database, there are two kind of database, uh, two kind of roles gets shipped with uh, by default with database when you create database. One is database role and other is application role. In this particular video, we'll be uh, covering database role part uh, and in next demo we'll be covering application uh, role part so uh, when there are by default uh, database roles such as db reader writer um, and uh, i'll show you in a second all those uh, by default roles uh, uh, i'm going to give you a scenario let's say that uh, uh, you have certain users and uh, you give that uh, those users uh, database reader role um, permission that means that particular user or group of user can read in all the tables in your uh, database they can read entire database but sometimes the scenario is that you don't want that you want those particular users just to read some of the tables not all of the tables in uh, C, uh, database so in that case you have to create your own database reader role in this particular video we'll be creating a role where we uh, want the users um, uh, and we will add those users to that role who will be just uh, reading particular tables just two or three tables not the entire database table so we're gonna go ahead and do that here's my uh, SQL server I'm connected with the tech brothers client SQL mirror is my instance uh, in order to create a, a database role you need to go to the database where you wanted to create a database role in my case I'm going to uh, create a database role in sales orders so expand that uh, go to the security and you will see a tab called roles up here if you expand that and expand as I said that there are two kind of roles when you create database database roles and application roles in this video we'll be covering database roles so let's expand that and look at the default roles up here the default roles are uh, DB underscore access admin backup operator data reader data writer let's say that you use uh, this uh, these um, default roles what happen is if you give d d d d DB underscore data reader to group of users they can read all the tables but scenario our scenario is that uh, the requirement is we don't want uh, a, a, a user or a group of user to read all the tables that way we uh, that's why we're going to go ahead and make our own uh, user defined role database role so we're gonna go ahead right click on the role and click on new role give the role I'm going to do cust customer table reader that's my role what I'm I, what I wanted to do is I want just the customer table um, tables that those users can come and uh, basically read those tables not other tables in the database so uh, database owner right here you have a option to provide the database uh, role owner so we're gonna go ahead and select uh, Kevin Scott as our uh, database owner this role owner so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and you you click on scurable this is where you add the table uh, basically that what table this role will be basically added to so we're gonna go ahead and click on scurable and search let's say that you wanted to look uh, looking for the uh, specific objects I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then click on uh, object type I wanted to do the tables so click OK tables and then I'm going to go ahead and browse the tables and I want to uh, include certain tables in this particular role so I'm gonna go ahead and browse I want to use a customer I want to use customer 2 these are the two tables I want my user whoever the user that I'll add to this particular role they'll be only able to read these two tables not all the tables so I'm going to go ahead and add these two tables click OK and now once you uh, clicked on scurable and got the tables you can go ahead and specify what kind of access that you want on these two tables I'm going to go ahead and give select permission that 
the users that who will be added in this particular role they'll be able to select the data from these tables they'll be able to I'm going to go ahead and do the update they'll be able to update the data in these particular two tables so I'm going to do the same thing up here select and update once I'm done I'm going to go ahead and click OK now let's refresh this as you can see right here the customer table uh, database role is added so any user that you wanted to uh, basically have these two tables read these two tables and update update these two tables in this particular database you can add those users um, in in this particular uh, role so let me go ahead and add the users so we're gonna double click up here and as you can see role members this is where you add the users so I'm going to go ahead and click on add and I'm gonna go ahead and um, add Kevin Scott or if I don't have many users right now in my database but uh, you might have more uh, users and you can select all the users that you want to or the group of the user uh, that you wanted to so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and click OK so now Kevin Scott or any other user that you have added uh, added to this role and they will be able to only see those two tables not all the tables so this is how you create using SQL Server Management Studio um, graphic user interface uh, a role database role we're going to go ahead and delete this particular role and we're going to use our T SQL script now to do the same thing so I'm going to go ahead and load my T-SQL. As you can see right here, we have um, a create role, cus table reader. That's the role. And uh, uh, the, the owner of that role is Kevin Scott. And if you look at right here, authorization on schema cus table and up here we are giving them select permission and we're going giving them update permission and I'm also in this particular um, uh, T-SQL I'm going to, uh, to grant them permission to view definition that means they can look at the definition of those two tables or uh, in this case it's only one table I'm not going to give uh, uh, more than one table and they can go ahead and view definition of customer table they can update the data in customer table they can select the data in customer table so we're gonna go ahead and uh, execute this um, uh, particular uh, t-sql script all right so up here we're gonna go ahead uh, and give we got an error we cannot do the DBO so what we're gonna do is schema DB underscore owner so we're gonna go ahead and execute the script and it had it went ahead and created the cus table already in the database but we're gonna go ahead and do all over again so let me just go ahead and delete that particular role right here I'm gonna go ahead and delete this role all right so it owns a schema so let me go ahead and go in the schema it's good that we're getting into errors and that way you would know that if you run into these errors then how you can uh, go ahead and uh, resolve these errors so I'm gonna go ahead in DB owner if you look at it the cus table right here is the uh, owner of DB owner so we're gonna go ahead and change that to DBO since we changed the schema owner now we're free to uh, go ahead and uh, basically delete this role all right this role is deleted so we're gonna go ahead and run our script one more time uh, and hope hopefully it'll run without errors and if we run into error we'll go ahead and resolve it right here okay command completed successfully let's go ahead and see if schema is created schema is created and look at the scurable 
as you can see there is only one table and we gave three permissions one is select update and view definition so this is how you uh, create user defined database role uh, in SQL Server using uh, T-SQL so we went ahead and used SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and we went ahead used the T-SQL script to uh, create database role in SQL Server I hope this video helps